Welcome back to the Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth video course. And in this video, we're going to go over some advanced editing techniques. And that's going to revolve around the notion of cutting to the action. And what does that mean? Well, let's go over to Premiere and I'll show you a segment and then we're going to do some basic trimming to turn it into cutting to the action. So I have this project open, cutting to the action. And while I'm here, I'm going to save it so you'll be able to open this same project. And the first one here, cutting to the action, we have two clips here. And I've turned off the audio on these clips on uh, uh, the scrubbing so we don't have it. We'll, we should still be able to hear it while it's playing, but not while it's scrubbing. Just make it so you can hear me better during the, during the um, video and not that there's anything wrong with the clips themselves. So let's go ahead and let's play this and let's see what happens up here in the video. This. Let's go past. Now you saw that in between here, she goes off camera, and then there's a good few seconds before she finally shows up on the camera again. So cutting to the action is we want to cut out from the, the time that she goes off of the camera. We have just a little bit left of her. And we're just going to do a basic trim here. And then we'll pull this over. And we want to get it just as she's coming onto the camera. So she's just coming there. So let's do it. Just a basic trim. We'll come back here. Now let's watch this sequence again. And we actually cut to the action. The action is her passing the camera. And we want to cut to where it's a natural progression from one side to the other. So let's see how we did. She passes. Then she continues on. Now you'll want to remove the beginning and the end where she's just standing there. But that's what I'm talking about, cutting to the action. She's doing one thing and then the camera view changes, but she's still doing the exact same thing. She doesn't suddenly end up uh, 15 feet past the camera or she doesn't just stand next to the camera for three or four seconds and then continue walking. It's as if she's walking through the entire sequence. And you can see that it it's very smooth from one to the next. Now, uh, that's not the only way to cut to the action. Um, let me go to our uh, four-point editing and replacing clips. And that's the next thing on our on our uh, agenda here, four-point editing. So let's go back to Premiere and I will show you what that what that is. She's coming up to the to this seat and then she's just standing there and then the next clip shows her hand coming out and she pulls the seat back and then the next one she pulls the seat back and then she sits down. Now we want to make that one cohesive video so let's remove the beginning of it again we're just using basic edits and we want to get to where she she's coming up to the chair there now her back is away we can't tell that she has if whether she has her hand on the chair or not so that's going to be a good spot to edit with And when we finish, you will see why. 
So we want to do a quick cut here, a close-up of her um, grabbing the chair and starting to pull it back. And we'll go about halfway of her pulling it back. Again, another quick edit. We'll go ahead and come down here and find the spot where she's starting to pull it back. But we don't want her arm want her arm just to start coming in. That way it matches the previous segment. And then we come here and she sits down and we end the, the sequence. So let's go through and see how we did there. That looks pretty good. Um, inside of this folder though, we have a different clip that we want to replace at the end. You can see we have a different one where she pulls the seat back. And then she, when she comes back and instead of leaning forward and leaning against the table, she actually leans backwards. So we want to replace this clip with this other clip. So let's go ahead and drag this over here. Oh. We'll get that right at the beginning. And we want to have it pretty much the same spot where she she comes in and So we want it about, about there where she, her hand starts to come in. And we'll create an in point there. And it's going to go all the way to the end and we'll create an out point over here. Now this one, we want to have the in point at the beginning of the, of the clip here. And the out point, we want it at, right at the end of the clip because we want our our um, this clip to only be five seconds long so we'll hit our out point there now we want to overwrite that one and our source here is longer than our clip down here and this is a four point edit we said an in point and an out point up here and an in point and an out point down here now, if we, uh, if we hadn't set the out point here, if we clear the out and we go to do an overwrite, it will just overwrite using this input, in point, this out point, and it will take, line this up with the in point here, and this one, since we don't have an out point, it will just put the entire subclip there. But, that's not what we want to do. We want to have it so it just fits inside of this one. So when we go to do the overwrite, it's going to ask us, well, what do you want to do? And we have several choices that we can do. Um, this We can ignore the source in point or the source out point, which are these spots here. But we know we want to keep those two spots. We want We want to make sure that we have this entire segment of video. We can ignore the sequence in point or the sequence out point. And if we do the out point, it will remember this one, match this up here, and then this one will go to wherever it ends up over here. But if we ignore the sequence in point, it will line up our out points, and this one will come back here and probably overwrite our segment here. Or the, the last one that we can do, which is actually first on this list, is change the clip speed, which is fit to fill. So if since this one is longer and this one is shorter, it will speed up this clip just enough to fit it between this in point and this out point. Now, uh, sometimes you want to do that if you have other things after it that you don't want moved. Um, there's no reason really to do it here. So we're going to ignore the sequence out point 
and it will take this spot here, connect it to here, and then wherever this happens to end up is where that happens to end up. And you can see it made the sequence longer, but it included the entire clip and it didn't change the speed of it at all. Now let's, let's see what happens. We'll do control Z. If you're on a Mac, that's command Z. And let's overwrite, but let's change the clip speed fit to fill and we'll see what happens to the clip down in the timeline. Now you see it sped it up to 142, almost 150 percent, the speed of the of the clip, and that's so it would fit inside of this segment here. If we watch it, he goes kind of fast. I mean, it's not really that noticeable because of the movement, but still, we don't have anything here to keep in line, so there's really no point to do that. So let me go ahead and we'll just ignore the out point. And that is a four point edit uh, in Premiere. And you get a choice of what you want to do. The three point is the most common if you're, if you're uh, changing clips, but the four point, uh, it happens sometimes that you need to have this much video and you might need to squeeze it in here. Uh, between two other clips and doing the uh, fit to fill might just be what you need on that.